was kind enough to join us in person. And the minutes, January 6, 2014, executive session. Mr. Foti. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the January 6, 2014, executive session minutes as amended. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Hold off on public comment in case the crowd arrives late. <laughs> uh, to item five, town administrator recruitment, point screening committee. Um, heard back from most of my colleagues. Um, there's one issue's developed in terms of uh, selection of a department head. And uh, I'll attribute it to um, you know, miscommunication or misunderstanding between myself and one individual in town hall who was communicating on this. And um, as a result, what has happened is uh, what was forwarded to me was essentially four finalists, as I would put it. Um, suffice to say, the system was flawed. It wasn't how I, or I think we had envisioned it to play out uh, in terms of how the nominations were supposed to come back directly to me. And once again, I just chalk it up to miscommunication and misunderstanding. And I'll take blame for that. Um, I'm going to propose, based upon the way that process had un has unfolded over the last three to four days, um, that the four names of department heads that I received that we then choose, this board chooses which one of those four should sit on the screening committee. And I, I just throw that out for discussion. Um, but I think given what happened, I think that's the best way to proceed. So I don't know how. I, I, I'm not fully privy as to what, what occurred or what didn't occur, but why couldn't we ask the department heads to get together, have a little meeting, and of the four that have been put forth for consideration? I suppose that's one option, but based upon what I was a little privy to in terms of an email I received, it sounds like it's gone further than that with department heads, and there was some screening process that already had occurred. Um, so I have, I just have some concerns about what has gone on up to this point, and I. Just think it's 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 flawed. Um, but not easily correct. I don't. Uh, my I personal opinion. Missing, uh, I know. My, my well, I'm being a little, yeah. little cryptic. But uh, based upon what I saw go back and forth, I, I just don't think it can be corrected at this point. Um, in the fashion which we had hoped and had expected it to carry forward. Um, I, it, it seems to me that it still can be corrected. I mean, basically, the charge was for the department heads, and hopefully they are uh, capable amongst themselves of picking one representative. But, I, you know, it didn't have to be complicated. <laughs> I, you know, maybe yeah, they never got the right charge. I, I can understand that. I agree that that was the charge that I had expected the department has to get was to choose an individual amongst your ranks and respond directly to me with that one choice. And it wasn't carried out that way. There was internal dialogue and emails that went back and forth. Uh, some people proposed more than one. Uh, some people set up criteria. Uh, I think some people try to influence the process. It's okay. Uh, I mean, to, to me, I mean, even if they had a, a meeting just in the room and someone could articulate, you know, I think it should be someone who's not going to be retiring within the next year. I think it should be someone who may be a resident of town. I think it should be someone who's going to, who's been here a while. Whatever they decide, you know, individually, they can all throw it out there as to what they think is important and then come to a conclusion. I agree. What's the big, you know? 
Put it to a vote. Come down to one. And if it's a, if you don't get a majority, you know, if, if they you want, want from my down. perspective, if they want to have representation on the screening committee, present one person. They do. It's clear that they do want. Well, representation. Then they should be capable of selecting one person. Uh, They're grown-ups. Uh, I understand, and I think they can do that. Yeah. I just my my view of it, based upon what I've been privy to, I think that it's been flawed, and um, it's unfortunate. Uh, it's no one's no one's fault. And I just don't think it's going to work this way. It's my opinion, but do with the wishes of the well, majority. Well, I mean, if they get the wrong message, you know, I, I think we should. Correct it, that's all. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm so concerned they didn't get the right message. I'm more concerned with some of the stuff that you're saying. I mean, you know, I understand you don't want to get too far into it. I just hope that someone, you know, that that there's not a, a person or a group of persons who are trying to bully, you know, some other people. Oh, I'm not suggesting, okay, I'm right. not suggesting there's any bully. Okay, no, 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 not at all, not at all. That's not what I'm suggesting at all. Uh, can I just suggest that uh, the chair of the vice chair call a, with the assistant town administrator have a department chair meeting uh, at some point this week for the purposes of electing for them to select uh, an individual to sit on the screening committee and be the chair of the vice chair if you've got the time uh, no matter which one just win. give them the charge this is what you need to do you need to come up with one name let us know who it is and go with it. Forget about what the message was or wasn't, and it was communicated well, or miscommunicated. And again, whatever's been said or conveyed obviously expresses some people's wishes and desires, and it's been articulated, and <coughs> people can consider that when they vote. But give us uh, whatever they want. This is their opportunity. And if they can't get the right together, that's deciding. <laughs> no, I, and I'm not saying they can't get okay. their act together. I just think what has gone on back and forth, it's... it's. I mean, we're quite capable of making a decision. Yeah. But we and thought I, it would I, be good for them to have some input. Well, know, and attention. I think I think they've they've expressed input to this point. I, I wish it had gone as we had envisioned it to go. It hasn't. I think it's flawed. Uh, my suggestion is we decide based upon the four that's been uh, presented as the four potential candidates. Uh, I think that's personally a better way to proceed, but I'll do with the majority of the wishes of the board. Is, that's my suggestion, the way to handle it. I, don't, I guess I'm still not privy enough to what's going on to get to come to that conclusion. You know, to me, quite simply, pick one, let us know who it is. <laughs> and I, I don't that, really that's know. Fine. Yeah, that's I don't really know the wishes what occurred or didn't occur, but. Well, question. So, our goal tonight was you're going to announce the final selection. What is it we were going to do tonight? Just maybe well, explain that to me. If we had that narrowed down, then I think we'd be in a position I can announce what the majority, what the majority has voted on or expressed to me their interest uh, in go with that as the uh, selection committee. In regards to the schedule, how does it affect you if we wait? If we just announce everything else tonight and have that one position? I don't think it affects us at all. I mean, it, it, it's based upon our meeting last week with Mr. Kobayashi, this selection committee isn't going to get, in, get involved in, for some time now. So. Okay. Well, with that said, then it, to me, it just seems pretty simple. If you have, if you just leave that up to maybe the town administrator, allow the department heads to meet, get the name. They don't to even him, have to do that. If that's what, should, what what I can do now is I'll just send the email out. I'll send the email directly yeah. to all the department heads, yeah. instructing them to respond to me with who their individual selection is. Because we don't have to actually, we're just going to vote that we want it to be a department head, and we can leave it at that, right? Well, that's, that was the position that, we had taken. So we don't have right. to even pick a name. Well, well, I'm just, a, I just came in suggesting that based upon what I've yeah. seen going on. Some of what no, I, I, I mean, not, I, have, I don't know what's been going on, just trying to process it on my head and, you know, to no, get no need the to process. have any further discussion then. I, Understand what the then let's just you know okay maybe give a deadline though by Wednesday or something. I think it'd be very I wouldn't simple. Let it string along. Very too simple at this point. They'll they'll respond to me within a day or two. Maybe not Wednesday. Just who knows what Wednesday is going to be like. Uh, I'm sure way. I'll have everything by the end of the week. So <laughs> I just wanted to bring what I could to your attention and see what you want to do with it. That's fine. I understood. Okay. Um, Mr. Larry. 
Yeah, but I'm with Mike on that one. We don't have to make the choice. They're going to make the choice. Let them throw it in. And other than that, uh, Steve, I don't think I got all your choices. Who are you looking for? The current or former town administrator. Well, I don't think I got one from you. What? what? Current or former town administrator. Current or? Town manager or town administrator. Okay, I kind of backed off because oh, okay. when I had the discussion with Mr. Kobayashi. Mr. Yeah. Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Uh, he didn't seem to be, I think it was that important, primarily because they're doing this work for us. Yeah, I, I think he's. I, I, I listened to that and I said, well, you know, maybe he's right. I mean, he's. They're screening not only for us, but for others. They're in communication as part of their role. And is it really necessary? Well, it goes, uh, Steve, I, I think you're going to reiterate what you said when we had discussed this. And this was my discussion with Mr. Kobayashi, too. I said, yeah, but you're, you're going to step aside after you whittle it down to 12 to 15 and it's going to be up to the committee to then get it down to three to five candidates to present as the finalist. Mm -hmm. um, I, I agree with Steve. I, I thought there's some benefit to having someone who was sitting in that capacity, uh, had sat in that capacity, that could add value to that screening committee. Um, yeah. I think he was a little taken, he, he was certainly taken aback when he was one of you before. I was the last one there. He was very well aware that, that we had uh, proposed that that was going to be the makeup, and he was taken aback. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you doing that? You have us. So he was taken aback. But I thought after I talked to him about it and the reasons for it, he, he understood it. Uh, so Yeah, I had a similar conversation with Mr. Kobayashi, too. And he suggested the same thing. You know, there may not be a need for someone in the field because you have us. Right. So I asked him again, what role are you going to be playing in this? You know, and then how much are you going to be uh, assisting in, in steering the committee or, or participating in... Again, it was more of a standoffish, you know, we're going to help Guy, we're going to run the calendar for you, we're going to, you know, narrow it down for you a little bit for the committee, uh, but we're not going to be asking questions. We're not going to be doing those. No, sorts of but they're developing the profile based on. No, I understand. What no, they no, found so I said, no, I said well, that being said, I said, once we get down to a field of candidates that you're going to be into, that the committee's going to be interviewing, you're not going to be participating from what you're telling right, me. Right. And, so again, I don't think he necessarily agreed, but he understood. And to me, I think it's uh, you know someone who's in the field uh, can be of assistance. Now, quite frankly, I haven't necessarily approached anybody because I don't know where we want to go. Do we want to go to the surrounding communities here? Do we want to try and reach out to Peter Heckenblatt or someone like that? Do we uh, want to talk to someone who's maybe local, who's involved in uh, uh, community affairs, you know, in town managing in other communities? Because we have a couple of people uh, that are local. Uh, do you want to go to Wakefield? Do you want to go to Linfield? Billy Gustus may be available. I don't know. But I didn't reach out because I wasn't sure exactly how we wanted to. I didn't want to, to toss proceed. up names, but there was a member or two here has have reached out to local community town administrators. And so there is some interest out there. Um, but yeah. before that would be interested and willing and able and has support of his or her board. Uh, to do so. So there okay. is somebody out there, but I hadn't heard. I didn't want to just toss a name out tonight. Uh, okay, I, I hadn't heard yeah. who he may have spoken with either, so. So if there's okay. somebody or a couple of people that are interested, let's move ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. I just think yeah. who, they, who they are. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's why I didn't want to toss out a good people until everyone waited. Um, yeah. Right. I think what I'd like to do and, is. And the community person, I know you sent an email and someone. I had someone that I was. Interested in consider having the board consider too. Uh, we have, we had talked offline, but you didn't formally tell me who that was. So why don't yeah. we chat about that yeah. uh, offline? And then I think what we should do is just table this for two weeks. And by that time, we'll have the department head issue resolved. We talk about the town administrator issue, uh, and then 
Okay, yeah, yeah, so if you, you know, yeah. you're the go-to guy, so if you could just share with what you've received so far, then you know, I'd be happy to react sure. and give some input too. Okay. Uh, I just didn't know how far to go. Uh, I guess I'm just a little confused on the whole process then. So we're going to continue the process for another two weeks. We have some loose ends. And we're going to share everybody's inputs. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. No, okay. I'd like to get it come to a consensus. Or if, well, if I thought that's what the process was. You, they were, you're going to be the focal point of collecting them all and then get a majority, we pick just, them, move we on. We have a couple of missing links, and that's what we need to fill those in. And then okay. We'll prepare to I mean, we can fill it. I mean, if you have a consensus on some of it, then we know the superintendent or our designee. Right. We know whoever else. Do um, you get a consensus from us as far as the board? Yes. Okay. So we have that. So we have that. We have finance committee. We're locked in on finance committee. We're locked in on board member participation. Uh, locked in on school administration. Um, and so it leaves the citizen and the department. And oh, and town administrator. The, the town manager, town manager. Okay. All right. Well, what, you can announce what you have if you've got a consensus. I'll do it all at once. Yeah. You know, you know. Just wait. Just do it all at once. Okay. All right. You're the chairman. <laughs> That's, That's a ringing endorsement. That's a ringing endorsement. It gets us home early. That's going to be a new record for us here. So, all right. That's all right. So, we have a hard date of a week from Monday. Well, that's Holly. Why don't we just? Wouldn't it just be that? Can we just do it on the Saturday? Maybe? Yeah. And let's pick a time I'm when we're going to get it done. Yep. Yeah. Right. Have it done by our next formal meeting, which is that Tuesday. Two weeks from tomorrow. Correct, the 18th. The 18th. Oh, Two yeah. weeks from uh, tomorrow. Uh, yes, the 18th. I'm going to be away. You're away. You're away. All right. So we do it's school vacation. Do it on that Saturday. Board next meets on the 15th. We do Saturday. it on that Saturday. We sure. Schedule that on the agenda too. What we can do is um, we can start the meeting at eight and begin the budget hearings at 8:30. That would be great. Fine. That'll give an ample opportunity first thing in the morning over coffee to uh, to make those decisions. Well, it should be. I mean, you should have a consensus by then anyway, so it should just be. Oh, you vote. You know, well, I mean, formalizing. Formalizing whatever the consensus. I would think. I would hope. So. Good. All right. That's great. That's All right. Good thing we have to do this very often. <laughs> <laughs> Town Administrator's report. Gentlemen, good evening. Um, as you know, the uh, ABCC <coughs> appeal on the denial of the beer and wine license for Center Cafe um, gatherings was scheduled for um, the Wednesday of school vacation week. And um, I've learned today that the ABCC has rescheduled that hearing to um, Wednesday, March 26th at 1.30 p.m. So I would ask you to just mark your calendars accordingly. Um, council will, will represent um, the town, and I will be present at that meeting also. Or if there's a member of the board um, who can attend, who voted on the prevailing side, um, council would appreciate that. What so, time is that? Uh, the 26th at 1.30 p.m. Great. Was there a reason why it was? Uh... My guess is they looked at the calendar. Probably because I was really probably I was shocked to, to see kids. the schedule that way. Yeah. I had heard, well, that it was going to be withdrawn. I thought. You haven't received no. anything regarding that. Nothing. Okay. And this just came in on Friday, so oh, the okay. notice so is just hot off the presses. Hot right? off the presses. New okay. stamp. Um, so who can attend? The people who voted against it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to make it. You good? As of last week. Yep. <laughs> and then um, if there's nothing further on that issue, the only other update I have is the, uh, the uh, four-town agreement on the Regional Housing Monitoring Agency is ready. It's gone to each of the communities. Um, I reviewed it with Danielle. It's gone to each of the respective town councils, and what's come out of it is a uh, multi-page, uh, four-page agreement that uh, I just received after the agenda was completed. So I'm letting you know that it'll be in your packet for your consideration. 
at the next regularly scheduled meeting, and I'll put a copy of it in Dropbox so you can see it well before that and off the meeting. At this point, we're kind of set in terms of it. There's nothing as I go through here that's particularly onerous. Um, the, the services would begin July 1 of 2014 and run for a period of two years, ending June 30th, 2016. And the dollars involved are, are similar to what we had discussed, which was um, North Reading's maximum obligation per year, um, $13,700. So we, we did appropriate um, sufficient funds. Uh, Reading would be the lead community. So we're partnering with um, Reading, um, Wilmington, Saugus, um, and North Reading. Uh, the, the communities that are involved. So I'll get you a copy of that and put it in the Dropbox, but it looks like it's over ready to go. Thank yes, you. Thank you. All the new business. Mr. Public comment. Uh oh. Anyone here for public comment? No. All the new business. Mr. O'Leary. Uh, I have nothing other than everybody stays safe this week because we have some snow coming. So, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Pope? I have nothing. Thank you. Mr. Michel. Uh I mentioned uh, in the last meeting. Uh, we need to really start to getting gear related to uh, finding homes for some of our vacant property, commercial property. Uh, and uh, I'm wondering if it, uh, thoughts of the board would be about scheduling a uh, joint meeting with uh, the CPC or create a, have a work session associated with it, review. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get in advance a list of vacant property and see what kind of steps we can take to either advertise or yeah. get a subcommittee going. Yeah, to some of that work. Right. To, jump uh, in. Yeah, I think that I think that makes a lot of sense to get moving. I, I think we have to put you. some effort into it this year. Michael, you at the last ahead. meeting you and you brought that up. Yeah. I did take the action, went back to C P C expressed them the desire of the board to get this going and talk about um, vacant properties and a few other things. We also, I uh, also reached out to uh, Peter Milano, who is the season yeah. se senior regional director for the Massachusetts Business Development Group. Uh, we're meeting on Wednesday, uh, meeting with CPC in the afternoon with uh, Chris Hayden and Danielle. We're meeting for a half hour and then we're meeting with Peter at 3.15 for about a half hour. And we're going to outline some of the, these things to prepare something to bring to the board to have a, a joint okay. meeting. So we're going to do a little bit of the legwork, so they're all prepared to come to the meeting and have a, <coughs> a real, real solid discussion. That's good. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's great. I'm having the action I took at the last meeting, so if you know, there's something else I was supposed to do. No, I think that's a good start, and then we can have the joint meeting after you do that. Makes sense. One, okay. one of the things that I'd like to see us do, and we haven't we've talked about it in the past, but we haven't done much about it, is I'd like to know what our options are as a community to offer tax incentives for development. That's what Peter will bring to the table. Yeah, Peter is bringing that information. Yeah, you know, what he actually really sent me do? some stuff, too. What can too? we actually do uh, to, to help uh, facilitate things and facilitate some economic development he through had, some incentives uh, that we may, have, may or may not have the authority? If we need some legislative action, let's mm -hmm. start taking it and um, take the bull by the horns here. He, I agree with Bob. When I had met with him sometime, it was before the new planning administrator was on board, uh, just before the change. He came in and he had very knowledgeable. He had, had all the things that potentially do or take advantage of when you have the change and so forth. So, so it's something that tracks, but I'm sure that he's going to be very, very helpful yeah. when you meet with him. He actually sent me a, a presentation of something he's doing for one of the local towns. Mm -hmm. I will send it out to everybody so you can look at it. And it touches a little bit upon that. It touches upon a lot of things. It's really nice. He's going to work with us to create the same exact thing. So I'll send this off to you so you have an idea Good. of what we're going to be working on starting on Wednesday. I think it'll be helpful for you to get an idea of what we're going to be doing. Yeah, and then I'll just keep you abreast along the way. And do you want me to set a meeting when I meet with them on Wednesday? You want to pick a time now? Um, you know, two weeks from now, a month from now? What do you get dates from them when they're available? I think we may I'll be do that. able to be That's fine. Uh, easier than I guess it should be a, a special meeting, nothing else on the agenda. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, we got the ball rolling, so I agree with you. I'll get that presentation off to everybody. That's all I have. That was the only thing I was going to bring up. Okay. That was it. Okay. I have nothing this evening. So, motion to adjourn. So Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 If else with the agenda. Right. Yeah. Aye. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, we got the ball rolling, so. 
I agree with you. I'll get that presentation off to everybody. That's all I have. That was the only thing I was going to bring up. Okay. That was it. Well, then I have nothing this evening. So, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.